Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Little bit of deja vu for you here. I am just going to take this trailer back over to the fertilizer again and we're going to have another go at loading it up. We now have Modelikers mod installed on the map. There is a link in the description below. It is uh, where the link uh, sends you is actually to his realistic weights and basically it increases the weights of the stuff that goes into the trailers to make it much more realistic. And um, when you play with that mod, um, when your trailer is full, you will know that it is full. It, it really does make your track struggle and it's a lot more how it should be in real life. At the very bottom of the description on the mod hoster page, there is a small link in red lettering to the unrealistic mod. And that is the one that I'm running on here. That is the one that I now have. And that lowers the weight of everything um, in the trailers so that you can run around as though you've got nothing in there. And that is the one that we need for this map. So um, our Zeta is continuing on. It is going to eventually do this field, but I think it's going to take until the end of the series before it does. It is taking a long time to get through that field. Um, right, we've got a couple of John Deere's still working, but most of them have now sort of ground to a halt and don't really want to do anything else. That one stopped, 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 stopped. And we got this one here working on the very end. So we don't have a lot in the way of John Deere action anymore. We will get back to it. This one here had 43,000 litres in the trailer. We'll do something with that later. We've gone back to this one. Now, I think I have found out why it was turning. Um, as though it was the actual um, machine rather than the new whip that I'd set it on. So we're just going to press H on here and it's going to get going and it's got its top speed of 60 odd miles an hour on the front. This is fantastic. While it's herring up towards the end of the road, look, see, it's now actually recognizing the end point. It's because when you go into the actual Giants editor, there are two nodes that you need to move. One is the working width and one is the worker area and I, had, I, I hadn't altered the worker area so it should now do it so if we just let it get to the end of the row and then I'll ask you the weekly question I didn't answer you the week, uh, ask you the weekly question at the end of yesterday's episode although I did ask you at the beginning so not all is lost we should be okay um, and there it has come round and it has done the correct amount it has drifted over by a little bit and it does overlap ever so slightly but that's what you'd expect from the hired help that's just kind of what it does that's its thing. You know, every, everyone's got a thing. Um, this is the hired help thing. It overlaps slightly. And there's not a lot we can do about it. But it's going to be nice and quick to get through this field. So my question this week is, do you want me to plow up all of this area here into one big field? Or all of this area here into one big field? We can't go any more than this because of fences either side there. I didn't really want to do down here because there's fences in the way as well. This, there's fences around here. So we kind of got a fenceless area around here. We could potentially include some more down here. Um, but there's a fence that runs up between the two right there. If there wasn't a fence there, we could potentially do all of that area. But we can't. So we'll... We're at the moment, we're going to stick to either a, a strip around the top or we're going to stick to an area around the middle. It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And, of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. This is coming along very nicely. Three and a half thousand... Uh, three... Three hundred and six... Uh, three hundred and fifty thousand litres of chaff so far. The trailer has barely gotten anything in it. This is brilliant. Oh, if only we could do our harvest like this in real life. That would be absolutely fantastic. Although I will say that when you first get into it, if you've never been um, worked with a large forage harvester before and it's doing grass, um, uh, just doing a grass swath, um, when it first starts and when they first start going down across the field, and you've got to drive your tractor really close to it and keep up with it, it doesn't feel very far off of what this machine is doing right now. It does. It is pretty quick. It is very fast. And for, if you've never done it before, it can be a little bit concerning to start with. i got to admit, I was actually a little bit nervous when I first started doing that um, because it wasn't all that far off the speed that this thing is attaining. Um, 
it was quite, quite, it was quite impressive. Uh, that trailer is starting to press down a bit now. So even though the weight has been adjusted, it is still starting to drop down. So we've done a couple passes across the field. We're now doing the full length passes. This is the big stuff now. This is this is big boys territory. This is, and we're up to four hundred. <laughs> this is so cool. I don't think I am ever going to get tired of this whole series. And I was just going to say I'm going to ever get tired of this. I'm not going to get tired of this whole series. I mean, we're not going to stay on this map forever. I'm thinking that we will move maps um, sooner than I would otherwise. Maybe we'll do 20 episodes on this map and then we'll move. I don't know yet. And um, Maybe we won't get to pigs and sheep on this one. We'll start doing pigs and sheep on another one. Um, I would like to move around. There is possibly, possibly, I will say, I'm not going to make any commitments, but there is possibly a 16 times map that is in creation at the moment that looks pretty spectacular that I might be allowed to do a series on. If that happens that would be fantastic. We could we could do this and we could go beyond anything we've done on here. We could just make it it, it yeah. The insanity will reign supreme. I think it's going I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be absolutely awesome. We will be farming in style if we can do that. Uh, but that's a big if. I genuinely don't know at the moment, so I'm not going to say anything about where it is, who's making it, or anything like that, because I'm not actually sure if I will be allowed to do it. But if I can, I will do it. How's that? There's a little promise. If I'm allowed to, I will do it. I will do an unrealistic series on that map. I see no reason why I will stop doing an unrealistic anytime soon because I am having so much fun doing this. I'm learning so much about modifying the mods and um, how to make little alterations and stuff like that. People are coming out of the woodwork left, right and center offering me advice and help and throwing me extra mods and links. And I mean, all of you seem to just love what we're doing here. Um, we, we're, we're giving a nod towards actual farming. We're doing the tasks. But we're kind of doing it in in ways that we can only dream of when we're actually sat in a cab. How's that? Um, so yeah, I'm I'm I love I'm, I'm really having so much fun doing this. I, I, I just really wanted to say that I'm I yeah I, I was thinking about this as I was editing the last episode. So I really am enjoying this series so much. It's, it's just like so many things that you kind of want to do when you play the game, but you never actually do it because well. Now, it's not very realistic. Shouldn't really do it like that. And and now this this whole series is about just letting our hair down and just doing what we want to do. And yeah, so if there is things that you want to do on the farming simulator games, but you haven't, you don't want to spend the time to set it up on your own map, um, and you don't want to do it on any map that you're currently playing that you could potentially do it on. Because I know that testing some of these things, it takes forever, you know, to go and get a field and plant it and set it all up and get everything in place can take a long time. I'm doing some of these, I'm learning how to change things in XML and in the Giants editor, how to alter the actual models themselves, and not the visuals. I'm, uh, the visuals is a whole different ball game, but I can at least change the set, because you can see here, obviously I've not changed the visuals and I'm not even going to try to do that, but I can at least change where the machine is doing its working width and things like that and that's the kind of stuff that so many people I know want to see and want to try and want to do but they're not actually able to do it. I will say though any any alterations that we make to map or to items or anything like that will not under any circumstances be uploaded for anybody else to download. This is just changes I'm making for my own game that will not be shared. So any modders out there who are watching this and getting a little bit nervous about what I might be doing, I will not be sharing any mod edits whatsoever. People are free to change the mods themselves, but I will not share mod edits at all in any way because that is not something that I agree with. I don't like the way that that happens. Um, I don't think that it's something that, and it's certainly not something that I want to be a part of. So I will not be sharing any of these mod edits. But anyway, um, I have rattled on about that long enough. This one is, we're going to leave that one to, to carry on for a little bit. And if we just nip back through here and how's this one doing? 268,000 so far and it's not even breaking a sweat. See, the, the wheels aren't going into the ground at all. No changes there. I am curious though, if we were to load this one up completely, 8.5 million litres, completely full, 
And then in our next episode, disable the um, the add-on for the weight in the trailers. And I don't know if... can Is there actually an option to do I don't think there is. I don't think that's an option that is available with the mod. I think it, it just does it in the background. Um, so we'll do... We might try that. We might try at the beginning of the next episode. We'll disable this whole mod again and... Then we can see what the trailer does with eight and a half million liters in it, and how the big bud copes with it. That could be that could prove very entertaining. I think that could prove very, very entertaining. Right. Um, next up, I think what we're going to do, do here is I'll tell you what I know what we we'll do. Um, if I go, do I want to go that way? That's going to go. That's going to go through all the combines and stuff. I want to go this way. There we go. I want to get this. I want to get this tractor here. Um, if I go to the map and then we press the magical F11 key and there's our forager there. So if I drop the tractor up next to it, like that, we will go back over here. I'm just going to, I'm going to get rid of that forager. We've got no reason to keep it now. So we come over here and grind gracefully to a halt and I can run faster than I can drive. I love this. Hang on. Let me show you. 13, 21 times speed is as fast as you can run. But this is so awesome. And if, if you can sort of lift up a bit as well. I, I mean, I did show you this before. But look at this. <laughs> this is so cool. 21 times run speed. This field is enormous. This field is absolutely enormous. There he is. He's working away. Let's just zoom back down a little bit. And someone did a couple, actually three people, I think, said when I, I couldn't figure out how to get uh, reset the height. It's the middle mouse button there. Just like that. Okay, and let's just set the speed back to normal again. That's brilliant. Um, now, the problem is I don't know which one is which. So what I, I'll tell you what I'll do. If I jump in here and I just unhitch the trailer, we'll move this one forward. And I don't actually want this one here. So if I... Actually, I know what I can do. I can just do it like this. I can jump this one down to the shop and I can sell it like that. Because if you jump it, I think it does actually... Uh, send it back in folded form and put back through here there we go and I can sell it so I'll just get rid of this one and just make it a little bit easier when we're tabbing through machinery it is a bit easier if I don't have to um, tab through thousands of them so if we go through here and um, I want to sell that one okay sell that one okay right now we can tab back to that one. <laughs> oh, this is awesome Nearly a million litres now. And the field, we're doing quite well on this field. I'm, I'm starting to wonder if we're going to actually finish this field before we fill the trailer. I'm starting to think that maybe we'll actually fill the trailer before we finish the field. That's going to be quite an accomplishment, really. The only issue is, um, how many millions of litres of silage can we put into a clamp? That's going to be the next thing. So maybe we should swap these trailers over. If I put this trailer over to the forager a minute um let's go on there i'll run this into the middle we'll swap them over and then we've got a million liters of chaff that we can then take back to the yard and do something with and then the forager can carry on and potentially get another million to three even um to to continue on with and then we need to take a look at perhaps it might just be course play i guess just to like to a back and forth um type thing so I'm just going to dump that one there, move on here a little bit, and let's pick up the pace a bit, shall we? Here we go. Boom. Look at that. Let this one come on up to uh, 1 million and 50 thousand litres, 60, be about 1.1 million I should think when it stops, or maybe not quite. And. That'll do nicely. So we, we ease to a halt. There we go. Back up a bit. Drop that trailer off. Go on again to the next. The, the biggest weight problem here seems to be the actual machines itself. Um, rather than any quantity that's in the trailer. So um, the 8 million is doing just fine with it. So pick that one up and come on round. The... Uh, We've got one. Of, we've only got two John Deere's ploughing now. Um, the big bud is down there. It's still filling quite nicely. It's doing a grand job of it. So if I bring that one up, I think it's sort of about there it was running. Um, not far out of that. 
We'll start that one up. Ah, not bad guess. Not a bad guess at all. Right, that one's away. So that's got 45,000 litres in it. <laughs> I went to just go over beside the tractor. It's so easy to um, <laughs> go a little bit too far. Uh, let's reset that back down to one time speed a second. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, the, these um, the creator tools and various other bits and pieces it is so much fun. There really is so much fun to be had in this game that we just we avoid um, in the sake of keeping things as realistic as is humanly possible. And I have come to the conclusion in the last few weeks that doing that is an excellent idea, keeping things as realistic as is humanly possible. But sometimes you just need to have a little bit of fun because all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Now, I'm not sure why it makes Jack a dull boy and why it's got to be Jack. Um, but anyway, that's, that's a saying that I've been told previously. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And we don't want to be a dull, bo a dull boy, even if we're not called Jack. So, coming through here, one million litres of chaff. Now... This is two separate silage clamps here, and I'm not entirely sure how well we're going to be able to tip into these silage clamps, but we'll do our best. Um, it's tipping beside us. I don't want it to tip beside us. I want it to tip behind us in a neat and tidy row. Uh, we're going to have to drive fast by the look of it. Oop. Right. Um, yeah, see, it tips in a very weird pattern. I don't know why it's tipping beside us, but you do need to try and drive as fast as you can in order to keep it tipping out. We'll tip into another clamp as well. Go through here. There, and come round, and come back up through here. This is not easy. Right, that's now done. Now, we've got to figure out how to do course play. I don't know a lot about course play, but I figure that we can make it drive in a loop. And what you do is you kind of you program it or something, don't you? Um, right, where's course play? First of all, how do we start course play? Open tools, helper settings. I don't actually know how to start course play. Um, I can't remember. I, I knew what it was. I, I did have it. And now I, I absolutely can't remember. Is it... Uh, I don't know what I've done there. I did something. Hide HUD. I did Control D. Oh, that's the dirt. Oh, very nice. You can change the dirt level on it. Okay, there's one. Um, maybe it was back this way. There was some helps. Um, Guile LT Master on there. Creator Tools. Miscellaneous. Mods. No. Okay, so I don't actually know where it is. And I thought that I did have it here. I thought that I could just use course play. I can't remember what it is in order to be able to do this job. Helper J has completed their task. I think that's one of the combines. Which one was it? I don't know. Right, well, we'll do that next time. Um, I apologise for that. I shouldn't be hanging around and sitting and doing nothing for a while. So we've got this all empty. So what I'd like to do is all I'm going to do is I'm going to set the course play course to do this. This tractor is just going to keep driving all the way down through here this is one percent compacted so far and it's stuck <laughs> it should be able to do it mostly it can do it once once it does it once or twice it should be okay to keep going so I'll come all the way down here up over that end bit and then it will come out there and it will run down the outside and it will do the same again. It's just going to go in a loop. It's just a continuous loop running round and round and round. And that should, hopefully, level out those clamps. So we'll worry about... <laughs> we'll worry about that later. <laughs> so it's surprising the speed that it's going when you jump to it. It's absolutely fantastic. How's the big bud doing? He's got half a million litres in so far. And the tyre is now starting just to touch into the ground just a tiny, tiny little bit. Um, but generally speaking, it's pretty good. This thing is so cool. I am wondering if maybe we should do this wider. Or maybe we should get two of them. Nah, we don't need we don't need any more than that. I suppose, actually, we could the other New Holland uh, forager. Um, 
maybe for next week I could, because that's a base game one, so I don't want to mess around with that one. But this one here, I might be able to change that one so that, because it's still 24 miles an hour. Um, engine setup, the biggest one, 867. Um, I could change it so that, that top speed is actually 100 and change the horsepower considerably higher as well. Um, and no, it wouldn't be 100, it'd be like 60. I'll change it 100 kilometers, so it'd be like 60 miles an hour. Um, and we could have the whole thing being done at 60 miles an hour. That, I think, could be an interesting experiment. So I will see if I am capable of making that alteration. Um, that could prove, I think that could, <laughs> could be very, very entertaining. Um, so that one's now come to an end. So we've got 460,000 there. I really wish I could remember what the um, horseplay thing is. That's really embarrassing. Is there anything here? I'm pressing. I'm, I'm pressing random numbers at the moment. Um, now it was. Was it one of these? Ooh. Okay, I don't actually know what I'm doing. CVX temporary course. Is something to do with, uh, no, it's not that. I'm pressing control and a button. Uh, stop that. No. It's definitely not that one. So, it, it's control and something. Oh, I'm, I'm so close. Uh... Magnum CVX temporary course. Now, I don't really know the one is slipping. I don't know what I'm doing. It says temporary course, and it's done that. If I press that again, now what? If I go like that. Now what's it doing? Is it, oh, is it just going to go back to that point and then stop? Turning the trailer upside down. We go back over to here. And... Now where's it going? I don't actually know. Right, so at the moment... Obviously, I don't know anything about this um, this mod. And, well, as you can see, because of the... Um, I've completely forgotten what the control was. i tell you what, I'm going to try and find out. Just bear with me a second. Right, it would appear that it's a simple right click. That's it. I'm not really sure what else I pressed in order to do it, but it, it did seem to start. So, um, we then we go to, I think it's that one there. So I, I really don't know anything about this. So, if we go driving settings, um, course play control, drive course, start course, nearest waypoint. Like I've said previously, I don't actually know how to use this, and I did try, and I thought that I could do this really quickly, so I am going to try. Uh, grain, empty, overloader, fertilizer and seeding, uh, field work, liquid product, transport, fill and empty, leveling and compacting. Maybe we could try that one. But do that. I don't actually know how you set a point. It's, it's setting waypoints. That's all I want to do. Um, copy course. None. Go to here. Right. M mode. Just course players. Uh, stop automatically for detect tractors in range 50 meters. Blade width. I don't want to have a blade. Uh, max speed while pushing automatic. Blade height automatic. Silo is being filled by... Oh, I see. Reverse unloading driving through. Um, is there a different way? Can you just, like, literally set a course? Load load at start. Temporary course. What's that? Uh, fill an empty shovel. So you've got all these different courses that you can do. Manage courses. I want to do a drive... All oh, right, what about driver settings? Copy, copy course. Um, it was something like... You, you go here. What's that? Um, nope, it's nothing to that. Oh, I thought I had this. So, turn speed, field, streets, um... Okay, I'm really sorry now. Let's stop at last point or next trigger. So, stop driver. And then start course. 
There was a way that you could do it. I, I'm going to have to try and figure this out again at another time because uh, we clear... Oh, that's why I've done it wrong. So start course recording there. And now if I just drive all the way through here. And I'm, I'm going to just... All I'm doing is I'm just keeping it in a straight line going right down across both bunkers. And we can keep the trailer on. That doesn't matter. I come all the way around here. And I go up over that little bit as well because we'll add stuff to that one later on. And then I come round like that. I go fast down here. And it goes all the way back to the beginning again. And then I don't really know what I do. So if I go to there and then stop the recording... Start course at nearest waypoint. Drive course. Uh, stop driver. First waypoint. And how do you make it so that it goes through them all together? Nope. There. Driving setting. Copy course. No. Um, here. Turn speeds. Manage course, course play control, drive course. Stop driver. Let's move on to the first bit. Maybe I need maybe I need to actually loop it around. Drive course. You're not driving. Okay, I'm just gonna have to admit that I really don't know what I'm doing here, and uh we'll leave it at that. So you can go away and we'll go back to here and we will just finish up on this. And I will go back to that and see if I can just figure out. I, all I want to do is just drive around a continuous circle with a tractor. Um, probably not something I should have tried to learn on this episode because people did ask me not to do that. Don't try to learn how to do this whilst you're filming it for it. Learn how to do it off camera. And I did. I thought that I had it because I, I did try a couple of courses that set really easy. And I thought it was just a matter of record and then I couldn't remember the buttons. And yeah, and we all got confused. And it wasn't good, but <laughs> this thing is so cool. Is it? We need a little bit more horsepower, don't we? And it's not for the actual quantity of silage and chaff that is going into that trailer. It's for the actual weight of the trailer itself. There's nothing else wrong with it. The weight of the actual trailer is what is causing us the problem. One million liters of chaff in here, and we're going to go running all the way back down to the far end yet again. Let's just go to make the map, map a bit bigger. We're not even halfway on this field. Not even halfway yet. This is insane. It's brilliant. I'm, I, I genuinely love the fact that we are going like this. This this is really awesome. And that there is going to be our screenshot for the day. I think. I think that will do nice. Actually, maybe we should maybe we should come around like that. There we go. Now it's looking a bit better. There's our screenshot for the day. If we come actually, if we come up like that, now we can see. How's that for the screenshot of the day? I like that one. That one's good. Okay, that one can carry on there. And we're just going to take a look at the big bud. That's got 800,000 in it. Um, that's going to take a while. So let's go back to here. And I want to play with this. Oh, no, there was one other. No, actually, I'm going to save that one. There's another mod that I was linked. And it looks really cool. It's kind of doing what I want it to do. Um, it's, it's not everything on it that I want yet. But it will get there because I'm going to try to make some more changes to it. And it's going to be awesome. I've got I've got jobs lined up already for it that I think are going to be really, really cool. And I think people are going to like them. At least I hope they will. I, I Personally, I think they're going to be awesome. I think the whole video involving this mod is going to be really fun. And it's just, it, I'm really looking forward to being able to record it and just do everything with it. I love the mud effect and how it splashes up like that. It's brilliant. So we can drift sideways into the mud hole. Uh, not very easily. Right, let's spin round again. Easy does it. We, we do have a lot of drift on this. So I want to try and get down here. Oh, 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 oh. And then drift. Sideways. And I, oh, I almost, I kind of did it. I kind of did it. So I'm as bad at drifting in here as I am in Forza Horizons. And for those of you who watch those videos, yeah, I'm pretty bad. Um, you probably remember. I'm stuck! <laughs> I'm actually stuck! Okay, stop. Just, just, just stop. 
No, I really am. I'm actually stuck in the mud. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. I, I honestly didn't think you'd actually be able to get stuck. I am. I'm completely 100% stuck. I'm not going anywhere. Let's say this. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. Now, that is a detail on this map that I genuinely love. That is brilliant. We're not going anywhere, are we? Okay. Let's um, get ourselves out of there. And we want to go... Uh, I click on you and reset. Yes. Okay. And then... I got the, the course play course there, but I don't actually... It's, that's what it's showing. Um, I don't actually know how to make the course play thing follow the course that I want it to follow. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that next time. I'm hoping, actually, in next episode, I will have been able to sort that out. Because um, running a tractor around on a temporary course there just to compress the silage, I think, is the best way to do it. Because then we're not going to have to worry about any minor details like... Um, trying to keep a, a leveling blade or anything like that on it. I wasn't really too concerned about that, but I am going to try and get a bit of airtime on. I cleared the gorge! Yes! <laughs> I cleared the gorge. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to try and clear the gorge over here, and I think I'm going to need to do it over there. I don't think I'm going to do it this time, though. Let's back up. We're going to we're going to need some space. Give us some space here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have some space. Um, my question for this week is, did you want me to plow up the middle of the map, or did you want me to go and plow up the top end of the map? And that ain't gonna work, is it? Nope. Nope. Ah. We have failed. Right, yeah, did you want me to plow up the top of the map, or did you want me to plow up the mi middle of the map? I came back too fast then. I'm stuck. Yeah, plow up a whole area all up here, or this whole area all the way around here, this massive great big section in the middle. Which of those two did you want me to plow up into one great big field? The top or the middle? It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And, of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. Uh, I was hoping that we could at least, like, try to unstick ourselves a bit. Um, it's not going to happen, though, is it? So let's come out of there and reset you again. Yes. Okay. And... Right. One last time. We At least we know where the gorge is now. It's straight over this way. And it's a good, there's some good ramps there that we can get a little bit of um, hang time when we get up over. I think it's going to work really well. This field is actually done really well. It's almost completely planted. Uh, Ploughed, I should say. Going really slow in the field, mind. So it's going uh, to pick up it. The ploughed ground, I, I do like the way that it does that. The, the ploughed ground has, does actually slow you down. We don't have any of the mods on it that, um, like the, the realistic ground or anything like that. Now, we want to go up this way. It should just come down and up and over. And, oh, I did it again. Yes. Nice. Now, this is the one over here that we didn't do because it, it dipped too much right in front of it. So, if we go on down a little bit further and we can see if we can clear one over there but if you enjoyed this episode then if you could please head down below and give me a like that would be really awesome and if you particularly enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be incredible um i think that is all of the jumps we've got our forager is still working away quite nicely he hasn't slowed down yet so um the mod is it really does alter everything. Oh, we just we didn't get anything. Nothing on there. That was that that's it. We're over. Okay, let's leave that one down there. And we need to, can we climb out? Yes we can. Um let's go and see how the forager is doing. Ooh. I'm sorry. Let me in. Let me in. Right. Uh Oh, we're a bit more than halfway across on the top end of the field now. We've got 1.5 million litres of chaff in the trailer. And it's still going strong. So we'll, this, this can carry on next episode. I reckon we could probably get most of the field in this trailer. So we're not going to need to worry about it. It's just turning it into a silage clamp. I think, actually, we're going to need to go for option two and get a, um, get a few square... We could use the small conventional baler. Uh, with our 100,000 litre bales and we do it that way. I think that might be a better way of doing it. I think it might be a little bit better. But anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. 
This is Rithgar, goodbye and see you later.